everyone, it's Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. Back at the Goodwill today, seeing if I can find any good vintage or antique items. Um, starting right off the bat here, this is a, I guess, shallow croc that I ended up leaving behind. I carried it all the way to the cash register and then decided to put it back. Um, and I definitely regret that. <laughs> I really wanted this cute little picture, but I also put this back because I have one exactly like it. However, I think it's slightly bigger, but um, among other things, pictures and little creamers are one of my weaknesses. decided to take some time and look through some of the Christmas items. I just haven't done that in a while and I wanted to stop in and see if I could find anything vintage and there were um, a few cute things as you can see. I did purchase a few but I didn't show them in the haul just because I felt like, I don't know, Christmas. It's May. I feel weird showing Christmas things but a lot of these things were kind of mid-century like this little placemat here. There were six of them and I almost purchased them. Um, I love the image on there, I think. Maybe if it was like framed or something or on a mug, I would have purchased it, but I don't need six placemats. I really hope this piece, this little picture here, is there when I go back because yellow is on sale right now, so I need to go there this week. Um, I'm sure someone has purchased it by now, but $9.99 was a little too high for me, but I loved the patina and discoloration, so I kind of wish I would have purchased it. Also for this, do you think $2.99 is a good deal? I had it in my cart. Um, I thought it would look cute for like a plant or something, but it was a little too shiny for me, and I felt like $3 was kind of high.
I loved this little rocking chair. I wanted it to hold my own sewing thread and like sewing needles, but the fabric on the cushions were really dirty, like as in there was actual dirt like coming off of it. So I did leave it behind. I was so excited to have found this. It's like a little eyelet dresser scarf, but when I got it up there, she said it was gonna be $3.99, so I put it back. There's no way I'm paying $4 for that tiny amount of material. And then I wish I had purchased this. Look how gorgeous this fabric is. I think it says tablecloth, but I would have wanted to turn it, I would have wanted to turn it into a summer apron. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? I loved the frame and then of course the print inside of it. A little too fancy for the way I decorate, but I'm sure somebody purchased it and they are so happy to have found it. There is a little damage in the corner, but I think some rub and buff could probably fix that. And then they also had it priced at $15, which I thought was extremely high since it was damaged. I wish that I had a basement or somewhere to store larger pieces because I really wanted to purchase this at $11.99 and I thought it would have been so fun to pull it out for Christmas time and I just loved the wood details and then the red stripes of course.
Alright, so the first item that I purchased, I styled into my decor immediately and it was this wooden jewelry box that you saw. I think it was $5.99. Um, but I'm actually just going to be using it around the house like you see here for like a riser and then just a nice wood piece in my decor. And then I also think it would make great storage for like sewing or little craft bits. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I suppose when I'm not using it in my living room decor, I can store it away for actual storage. And then I did purchase this because I thought it was too cute to leave behind. I wanted to put it in my eBay shop. I'm not sure if someone stitched this themselves or if it was sold at a store because there is a where there was a sticker on the back. You'll see here in a second and I'm assuming that might be where it was sold in a store or maybe it's just from a framing company. I don't know, but I believe it was two dollars. I already took the tag off. I'm not sure, but I just thought it was beautiful. And then I did purchase this Warren Kimball piece, the little kissing cows. Um, while I love the like muted colors, I don't decorate with farm animals. It's just not something that I'm into. So this will also end up in my eBay shop. It did not have a price tag on it, but I want to say that she charged me around $3.99 for it. Um, something like that. And then I did get the little Starburst wall sconce. I searched high and low for its mate, but I could only find this one. It was priced at $1.99 and it was also 25% off. And I just thought it was too cute to leave behind. I love brass and then it has that really fun like mid-century modern look to it. And then the back says India, I think world craft something. And then I also got this beautiful lady figurine. Like, look how she's in such good condition. Um, how much was she? I think it says on the bottom here in a second. $2.99, I think. But I just thought she was in really great condition. And she would be good to put in the eBay shop. I did look it up. And um, it was high enough for me to make a profit off of. And then for myself, I got the green reproduction canning jar. I think it says Grandma Wheaton's Old Fashioned Receipts Canning Jar. And for some reason, I am seeing fall time when I look at this. So I'll probably set it aside and then try to style it closer to that season. But I just thought it was cute. I love these little like wired jars with the glass tops. And yeah, it was $3.99. And then the last thing that I got was a piece of that fabric. There were a few fabrics like this with that like primitive country look to them and I actually want to take this and try to sew it into a decorative dish towel that I can hang up in the kitchen um, I'm really into that like muted look right now so I'm gonna give that a try and it was 99 cents so yeah that is everything that I purchased in today's thrift with me video I hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more thrifting content and I will talk to you guys in my next video bye